Hello, hello, hello. I am Silver of Silver of Hypnosis, and today is March 28th, 2019. Uh, first of all, thank you to everyone who supports my Patreon and uh, watches my videos and interacts with them. Uh, thank you very much for doing that. I can't do it without your support. And your continued support helps me do this, uh, which is all the more jarring. Or, not really jarring, it's all the more important, because, uh, yeah, this last year has not been good for me, uh, all things considered. This year is probably worse than the year before, um, overall, I would say. I mean, I've never been, how do I put this? On one hand, I'm like, I've never been more popular, my videos have never gotten more views, uh, and yet, I've probably made less money this past year than I did the year before it. Uh, and the main reason for that, well, there's a number of reasons, uh, less content was put out, um, but I think the main reason was um, that YouTube last year removed its paid content uh, uh, service feature, I don't know, something like that. Uh, it they got rid of uh, the ability to make uh, paid videos on YouTube, which is where most of my traffic comes from, uh, and that basically made... That feature basically allowed me to make a living doing this, um, and I haven't really gotten beyond, like, ever, like, this last year was, everything that happened last year, I never really get managed to make more, uh, to make up what I lost from that, um, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not on you guys, obviously, it's more on me, because I have to, like, find a new way to... Uh, make more money, essentially, because obviously life happens. Um, and so I kind of want to explain all that, because I kind of like to keep my viewers uh, aware of all of what's going on with me and what my thought process is. Um, and sort of the pressures on me to uh, make certain kinds of content over others. Um, because on top of that, YouTube has been recently uh, strengthening its... I guess it's, what do you call it, uh, guidelines, I want to say? Or maybe they're just enforcing their guidelines in any sense of the word. Um, and I say that because a couple of my videos have been demonetized because, oh, you know, <laughs> a couple of the videos that get the most views, chances are they're the ones that YouTube does not let me uh, make money off of. And that kind of sucks because, obviously, um, well, you don't really make much from ads. Um... At the same time, you know, it's a little annoying that the, most, the videos you make that get the most views and interaction, which are the ones everyone sees, because YouTube system prioritizes um, videos that are interacted with. You know, those are the ones that, you know, support me in some ways, but those are the ones that get demonetized, because obviously there are subject matters that um, YouTube doesn't necessarily like. Um, and so that kind of puts me in a quandary. Uh... It kind of puts me in this weird quandary where, uh, where I I'm, I have a disconnect between uh, how I make money and what uh, in my YouTube channel basically, because so like <laughs> I guess as I have to explain another thing now that I think about it. So when I started Patreon originally, uh, the idea in my head was that Patreon would be. Like, basically what you could do, I kind of viewed it like a subscription service, almost, where, like, I would put paid content on YouTube, and then people would buy, you know, one file or whatever for, like, five bucks, and if they liked my files in general, they would, you know, subscribe to my Patreon for ten bucks a month, and then get access to all of my paid files, and so you keep getting, you know, you pay for constant access for a library of paid files, and that worked uh, for a very good time. It was worked really well for me overall because it, it directly uh, direct it, it directed traffic and content or I guess subscribers from my YouTube to my patreon so there was a clear sort of try and try before you buy sort of thing where the people who really wanted uh, certain content of mine could see what the content was and they were like oh I like that and I like the rest of your work so, I'm going to subscribe to your Patreon so I can get access to all of it. And, you know, the directing one from the other meant that I was doing pretty well doing that. But with the removal of 
paid content on YouTube last year, uh, I essentially needed to re like the how do I put this? The direct transfer from one to the other was severed, and so the need to put out paid content sort of disappeared almost, and I ended up in this weird sort of state of confusion, I guess, is the way to put it, because where, like, if I'm not putting out the content on YouTube, and I'm just putting it out for my Patreon people, nobody's really watching them, because the amount of people who watch on YouTube is so much greater than the people who pay for it on on Patreon. So, making content specifically for Patreon didn't make a whole lot of sense. And, obviously, I started up Eclipse for Sale to put paid content there. Um, but I didn't want to advertise that on YouTube because it, that's essentially a porn site. And I didn't want to, like, yeah, they allowed me to put my content on there. But on the same time, making... It's much more expensive there than I really want it to be because of how long my videos tend to be. And, like, there's no real crossover from there to my Patreon. So, I can't put those files on YouTube, but I have to make them because I need money. But I can't put those on YouTube because if I, I can't make them paid on YouTube anymore. So... There's no way of me sticking them on YouTube to get people to then subscribe to my Patreon so that I can continue to make money doing what I want. Does that make sense? It's it's the the end of paid content really kind of hurt me more than I, I realized at the time, and I realized it pretty serious it was a pretty serious problem. But the because basically it allowed me to make content that was more out there and even more out there by my standards, and more risque, I guess you could say, uh, more sexual, things like that. Things that I would not be able to stick on my normal uh, YouTube channel overall. And so I've, I've sort of been trying to, like, re or I guess, renovate that uh, on some level. So I have started putting, like, in the last week I've made four files, uh, four paid files for both my clips for sale and for... Uh, uh, my Patreon supporters. Um, so I made four of them for there, uh, and I'm hoping I'm gonna make more because obviously I need money. Uh, because I'm in, I'm not in a great place money-wise at the moment, um, and a lot of things are uh, sort of piling up, and it's it's really annoying, and it's just difficult, and basically just doing my taxes has sort of made it obvious that I made less this past year than I did the year before it, and that really hurts. Um, hurts me in a lot of ways, financially mostly. Um, but it's also really discouraging, because in the time when I've arguably been never more popular, in the sense that I've never had more views or more, uh, you know more subscribers, more interaction, I've, it's, I've made less money because of it. So, you know, it's very disappointing. Uh, you know, I'm disappointed more in myself because, you know, I, I keep setting goals that I'm not meeting, and I'm not exactly clear on how I can meet them, and it's discouraging because, you know, you, you sort of want to, you know, you want to keep making content, because you can tell people like it, but the content isn't paying your bills, necessarily. So you have to kind of go, do I focus on, you know, do I continue putting more time and effort into this? Uh, do I change what I'm putting time and effort into? Or do I abandon it entirely? Um, and obviously I don't want to take option three, because there's no backup at the moment. Um, so I've kind of gone with option two of trying to retool what I'm, you know, what I'm putting, you know, myself towards. I'm trying to focus on other things and trying to retool how I, you know, what content I make and how much money I make. You know, I'm trying to take more control over that. It's just really difficult. And I can't say at the moment, uh, I can't say at the moment I'm too confident in myself uh, and my own content. It's uh, it's been rough. Let's put it that way. It's been uh, certainly difficult. 
Um, and I don't know if that's ever gonna if that's gonna change anytime soon. Uh, and it's it's just it's just really really tough and disappointing. And I wish I could be more positive about that. But you kind of have to be realistic, and you kind of have to like. Like, you can't make progress or improvements until you realize that there's a problem. And, obviously, I can't have another year like I did last year, because that would basically mean there'd be no point in continuing this. Um, financially, anyway. Uh, because there's no point in putting the amount of time and effort I do into this if... Like, because either you could say, oh, we do it as a hobby, but the amount of time and effort and work it takes to do all of this, to manage everything and all the multifaceted stuff that I do, it just isn't worth it as a hobby. (laughs) The amount of work it really takes is to the point where it would be, it's kind of a pass or fail sort of thing. You either have to go all in and make it work, or you basically have to stop doing it because... You can't manage both. <laughs> you can't. You can't have it both ways, um, and that's disappointing, uh, and it's frustrating. But it's realistic. Um, so my hope is that I'll be able to, you know, put more content out and hopefully get more people to either support my Patreon or buy my content on Clips for Sale. But if I can't, I kind of have to be willing to, you know, cut my losses and not go into more debt. Because I got student loans to pay, and, you know, I got, you know, I have to buy food for myself, and obviously not eating is not exactly a, a good thing to be doing. Um, you know, you, you kind of have to deal with it. So, yeah, so that's basically everything It's like, you know, an update about me. Um, everything's just been kind of, kind of a struggle lately. Um, and you just kind of have to deal with it, I guess. I mean, obviously this is not on any of my viewers, it's on me, mostly. Um, cause it's on me to fix it and make my content better. Um, because I strongly believe that if, if things don't work, it's usually my fault. <laughs> it's usually, so I have to change what I'm doing to figure it out, essentially. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I wish this update was more uplifting, but... It's just really not. Lately, it's just been a slog, essentially. And as we get into tax season, um, yeah, it's just kind of revealed, like, all the problems I already knew were there. So, yeah. Sorry, this isn't really all that uplifting. It's already kind of depressing. Uh, but again, thank you for those who do support me. Um, even if you're just viewing my content and leaving feedback, that's super helpful to me. Um, it helps me continue to do what I'm doing. So, again, thank you very much for all that. Um, I'm hoping to continue doing this. Uh, hoping to put more work out and uh, keep moving. I'm hoping to uh, not have more problems with this. But <sighs> we'll see, I suppose, right? <laughs> Guess we'll see. Anyway, see y'all later.